Yo! Mm. And that one is a place in Foslo. Now, mm. well, shout out to my boy, man, Sfiso. By the way, shout out to Sfiso, man. Like, childhood friend. Uh, slightly older than us, but, you know, uh, he's the guy, like, who taught us how to DJ and everything. Like, you know, deep, like a house fanatic. Sfiso DJ. Born, born, born. Okay. Sheesh. Sorry, ma'am. Are you ready? Yeah, we're good. Is it, is it, is it in his face? I'm ready, man. I was just responding to something. Didn't really need to, but yeah. It's done. I'm at the M. No, you don't no, respond no, no, to I'm DMs. Not, I, I do, but it's all really? DM. Depends. I, I, I can yeah. tell it a funny DM. Swap? No, swap what? Yeah, no, no, I'm right. actually good this side. Yeah. I'm having a problem with this eye and this light. Oh. Can you see? Oh, Nyabon. The eyes. I'm going to the eye. I'm going to the eye. doesn't work. I'm seeing a doctor, guys. I'm going to the <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't even know if that works. When I'm gonna come in, you No. Are you sure? Think very hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, but this is not talking about that kind yeah. of mkamo. I was. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I ain't sure what to <laughs> Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Nina. laughs> come on, actually. Think about it. Oh. oh. Ay, I'm a Leo, it happens. I like it. I love it. They always say, I, 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 Oh, the last it? time you were in the win. When I when he took my numbers. Yes. Oh, you were there. Did you we meet? You squeezed me like a. Oh no wonder you came in for the hug today. Yeah, I'm like. And it wasn't like like that. that yeah, was like a like drunk a... hug. I did, yeah, no, I no, no. The like, when I'm I, drunk. I could feel my ribs going. And <coughs> yeah, when I'm drunk, I give the super. Yo, yeah. yo. Yeah. I felt it. <coughs> okay. Today I gave you the. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah, you gave me the tired hug. Like, like yeah, tired. it's like hi. No, but it was still but graceful, it was, and yeah, you know, it was, it was but cool. it's still like I'm tired. It was tired. cool. I like, I like. When you're ready. Oh, always ready. Where's the camera? I did not sound okay, right. Okay, oh, there's ah, two. Ne? Let's move. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to see the camera. It's that one and that one. Ne? Yeah. All right, cool. Which one is the wide? This is the wide. All right, cool. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to another awesome episode of ADN Lifestyle with Sanati. Brought to you by Audionomics Entertainment. What are you fidgeting? Uh, it's Tasso. Go uh, on. Do uh, your uh, broadcasting. Yes, do your yes, broadcasting. Yes, 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 do your broadcasting thing. Oh, I liked it. <laughs> Welcome to ADD. I thought you said ADD. Welcome to ADD. So now I'm displaying my ADD. <laughs> <laughs> it's ADN Lifestyle with Sanati. Ah. How brought to you by Audionomics Entertainment. Kiro Tili Abutu Solomzi Tandu Buntu Penduga. Yay! Hello. Full name, not a name. Yay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I love the corn <laughs> from the factory. Factory <laughs> with serial numbers and everything. <laughs> What's up? Thank you guys for having me, man. Thank you for coming through, man. Ah, <laughs> Kuluma. <laughs> I was just made a It's a moment now. Right. Lip gloss. Mm, uh, yeah. Lip gloss. Yeah. Okay. Lip gloss. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, man. I'm grand, yeah. It's in the flu. Yeah, hey, hey, it's in the flu. Hey, 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 flu. Hey. Get you. Know, in the flu. And funny enough, I took a flu vaccine. And I didn't take the COVID vaccine, yeah. but I took the flu. Yes, I don't know. But I took the flu vaccine. And I think I'm going to you know. Because the flu, like, that is so harm, and I know people are 
I have been struggling with this flu for like weeks. Yeah, um, no. I, so I, like McBamba, you have it for weeks. And how long and have you had it? Yeah, a week, four weeks. How long I've had it for like three days now. I I am I am I yele I yele. Look forget la woman. Ah ah ah, ni fuuni. Oh, ni fuuni. So police are buying me No, then people say you guys are a sick interview, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I'm in bed, I'm in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the story of the flu. <laughs> so, Talil, okay. So, Lomzi, Tandubuntu. You know, when yeah. I read Tandubuntu, I'm like, okay, maybe I can say this is Zulu or Tosa or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, get Tandubuntu. So, yes. Ratabutu, Kasasutu. Beautiful. It's even so much more beautiful than you say it in Sesotho. Because me, I'm, I'm, I'm Zulu, so... Oh. But when you say it like that, I'm like, damn, that sounds beautiful. It is. It's it a is. beautiful. I, Ratabutu never, is a beautiful name. It is. Yeah. I've never heard anyone or met anyone that had that name. Same I've never met. My dad. Is it? It's okay. the one thing he left me, you know, he's still alive. Okay. But it's the one thing he literally left me with. That is like, man, this is a beautiful At least. name. Yeah. At least he didn't, you know, just... Uh, a vanish and he left me with a spussy so a skello. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a nice it's a unique beautiful name. name. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah, that's from name. my dad's side. Okay, that's a nice name actually. It is. I sing at Kabanga Mans. I not Okay. I wanna get into And funny enough is we my dad Yeah. So before you say you wanna spray thing it Yeah. I used to stay crazy. Okay. Um so my mom used to work in Zibugo. I said, for man, I'm going to call it Yeah. Um, a crazy. I said, thank I used to stay there. That's where my mom and dad met. Well, the other streets, I think that's where they made me. But I was raised the other streets. Okay. I said, we see it. I said, a crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but up until 91, then we moved when I was four. Mom and dad broke up or divorced. I don't know what the situation was. And removed then for slow. So Baba Kusa Sela is spread? Nah. I don't know who it is. I think last was around Bukia Park sides, but he's always been that guy who was here for work and stuff. Yeah. But his main, main, main thing was in back home in KZN. So Oh okay. Yeah, we have I've never even been there, but I think it's somewhere in the somewhere. east still. Yeah. You're not in contact. It's been a while. That sucks. I'm in contact with my sisters and brothers, you know, okay, so his kids, yeah, but it's been a while. And no right to grant. Ah, look at me. I'm grand. Now you're born. Short time. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's, that's I've never good. had that thing, you know, and I think I, I possibly might not have it that I want a relationship with my dad. dad. Yeah. You know, fine enough, I grew up and the, the surroundings and the situation um, filled that void. And there wasn't a void per se, but yeah. that void that was meant to be there. So I think I'm fine. I'm good. I'm a father. I'm good. I don't have issues. I'm good. That's good. So he's yeah. good. So you see, Lento would see, no, I need my dad in order to be a good. Or to change your spong. Yo! Yabba! Or to change your spong. Ha! That's. Sometimes the thing in life, we don't want to take responsibility you know, yeah. of a lot of our actions. True. And so take me, for example. Sol, Sol Penduga, it's my surname, Penduga. I use it, I use it, and I pretty get far in life. And then maybe something happens, and it's through my actions, and I can account for it yeah. and say, yeah. this was me. Yeah. And oh then I went, but bang loile. Hey, what's your name? I need to use my dad's surname. Then you are you do all these things. Meanwhile, you drop the surname, which is your mom's, mm -hmm. and your mom's ancestors are the ones you're more connected to. And who've been carrying you all along. For real, forget what anyone might tell you. Your mom's ancestors are the ones that are closer and stronger to you. you know, especially if maybe sometimes about Nzang in Panel, that's our corner, the things that they mean to do. And then we change your spawn and things get even worse. Because Manjo Flatelwa, Hilaba, who've been carrying yeah, you. Yeah. Now, sometimes if I was no go as a find you one, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah, man. Um, uh, uh, so my dad, uh, we, we, we cool, we cool, we cool, but uh, yeah, 
there's n- I'm, I'm okay with that, you know. Yeah. It, no it's, resentment. It's all that I've ever known. It's not yeah. like he was yanked away from me, missing Kerani, and then there was that gap now, you know. Yeah. Because as yeah. a kid, your dad is your superhero, and I've got memories. Because it was saying, as a son doing, after we've moved out, I would go, you know, on Sundays with my mom, spend the Sunday with my dad, but missing Kerani, Panyana, I was like. Mm. I think it's one way this thing, you know, because yeah. my dad has never really been here. And I asked my mom and he was like, well, you can come. He knows, you know, and then we, our relationship just fizzled out. So just like that, just like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just like, I mean, we told, he's got my number. I've got, I don't know if I have his number. Let me check. <laughs> if I have his number, actually. Oh my gosh. Timer. Uh, Sipo is his name. Eh? So even when we'll see for a time. Uh, actually, funny enough, if it's there, I'll tell you. But I'm searching C poor. Because if I saved it, not dad, I would look at them and go, who the fuck is dad? Like, dad. Yeah, there is C poor in his surname. Literally, yeah. Sheesh, yeah, okay. It's C poor is surname. Save them with name and number. Because that's. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, you understand yeah. so, but I still respect him enough to say, my but dad. My, um, yeah, yeah, but. When it comes to practical things, I'll save him to remember him. I can't just mm. say dad, because I was like, dad. Can I was like, who the fuck was using my phone? And maybe I was needed to WhatsApp their father and save dad. Who's dad, you know? I'd be more confused if I saw dad and my dad on my phone. <laughs> oh, so, mm. how many siblings do you have? I've got one older brother. Oh, okay. In BBC. Yeah, but it's a funny situation. It's not funny, man. It's just, even him, my relationship with him is very... But I'm closer to him than I am with my dad. Okay. Um, so we've got different fathers. But, um, so my mom had him, like, at 18 in the Eastern Cape, where my mom was from. And there was some arrangement kind of thing, you know. But my mom was was a very, like, not fight, feisty, I could say but strong willed and stuff and mm. she was like nah 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 this thing i can't do you know let me go build my life and take my kid with you know so yeah. she'd left the kid with uh the, the 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 father's side of the family i think or her side of the family i'm not sure but came and then worked as move oh okay you see came then got a certificate to type stuff and he learned stuff, finished matric in Fumana, by the way. Mm-hmm. Finished the matric in oh, Fumana nice. and then, you know, did her stuff and uh, got a job at Izubugo as a clerk, an admin clerk, and she'd be the one typing. See, back in the days, um, she had to type like the letters and everything, you know. I don't even think there were photocopies then, but my 91. 1990 and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, but she was so quick at typing, you know, and she'd like, read like type and yeah and send out newsletters or not whatnot. send them out but Quits. someone would come and yeah. send them out but she'd deal with that slash faxing, faxing, faxing. stuff okay. when now. you call the school it's her voice you know yo yeah. uh, she dabbled in a bit, a bit of teaching okay grade one but i don't think she enjoyed it so then when she was fine she then brought my brother through okay you know? and my brother was then, you know, uh, uh, grew up with us. So I think, how, how, how big is the age gap between him and I? But he's in his uh, late 40s. You yeah, know? Like yeah, it's quite, he's quite yeah, it's mature. Quite a, yeah. He's, yeah, so it's quite a, a gap. Mm. Yeah, what came, this side. So I don't know what it was, whether he struggled. But I don't think he did, okay. right? He just also... Yeah, you know, rebellious high scholar. Do you, you know? think he had a problem with finding you there? It's bad, Manjelo. Nah, he knew me. My brother loved me. There's pictures okay. of me. He's holding me like this. Okay. Pictures. He didn't find me like I'm big, you know. <laughs> and I'm swinging my dick around the house like, yeah, Baba, okay. you yeah. know, no, no, no. Like, house, I swag. was a kid. He knew me, you okay. know, because he'd come visit a lot. Mm. Yeah, well, he'd come visit a lot. And my mom was so like, like no, I got no, not at all, not yeah. at all. And I, I think obviously there was a thing of. My mom staying with my dad, now that I'm older, to think about it. My older time, but 91, I'm four, right? Yeah. So they're still like, you know, then she buys it like a four slow, 91. And, um, hey man, it was so easy for people to buy homes back then. I wish it could be like that now, right? 
dude. Like my mom bought a house like it's forced like eighty thousand or whatever, a hundred thousand, and you're like, yo, oh. guys, you know what Just I mean? Just like that. You like so easy. Not cash, obviously, but, but yeah. back then it was a lot, but still it wasn't as tough as now. Yeah, you know what true. I mean? To get into the property market. Yeah. Um, but I think it's because she worked for government. Oh, also that okay. that also helps. But no, man, even my uncles, everyone like think about your family. Everyone has a house. Everyone. Then think about everyone. your generation. Put lies, spread everyone. My family. Yeah. Yes. Then think about your generation. The more cousins like. Oh, oh, oh. Well. Exactly. It's right. Another story. So it's just it, it's tougher. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, my lady gets a house in Force Law. And uh, then my brother comes through, you know, finishes uh, a primary and stuff, you know. So he's got a a starter, like a stemmer. He okay. starts, you know. But he finishes primary school. Um, went to another school here. Somewhere here in, in Sprite as well. Um, and then he goes to two door in, in four slow. And then he drops out, you know. Why? Ah, you it's know, man. Ah, yeah, yeah, you DJ, know. Yeah. Maybe me, I could say it like this, but I never really sat down with him and I was like, why? Yeah. Yeah. But because there's a different side of the story of every time. Of course. Yeah, so oh, there's okay. possibly his side of the story that's like, oh, well, dude, I was going through this. I started, mm. possibly maybe there was a depression thing, mm -hmm. being teased or bullied thing or whatever thing, you know what I mean? Mm. So it wasn't maybe a pleasant experience because yeah. you know kids can yeah. be mean as well. And uh, these are things in man during him that I'm like, actually... Maybe he went through. Maybe he, he, he possibly loved school, but there were issues it was as just well. Not yeah, fun well, for him. Yeah, right and now. then yeah, you know, a high school kid will start drinking, mm. dabbling in weed and stuff. You know what I mean? But it's easy to look at it and point fingers from your 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 uh, 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 point, of point of comfort view. Yeah. and be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so then uh, that rift began, you know, because my mom was a big champion of education mm. you know what i mean she was a big advocate of education so that gap then uh began but he, i think for him it was like man i'm i think i'm i belong just home in in the east in eastern cape that's where i was so that's where he grew up most of his time mm. um and then came through my mom put him through some course you know to find work and he, he'd come through did that lived with us but funny something would always happen and it always be in the eastern cape so with that there was never that thing you know and also i've got a zulu dad he's got a cosa dad so mm. there's a different and he's like hardcore cosa so there would always be a a, 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 a a a that disconnect sadly and i think that's frivolous compared to the fact that we've got the same mom mm. you know what i mean like mm. blood is thicker than whether your dad is what your dad is yeah, what we're true. from the same womb you know so sadly yeah but we're working on that you know we we, we cool good. we talk um yeah we, we, we siblings talk. are important as annoying as they may be yeah yeah very man we talk you know never <laughs> like like you know like we talk uh, a good. lot so it's good we're cool now i know my I, siblings I are hope annoying we are. my brothers bore me but you love them right of course yeah of course i love those are you the first born last last born in wow life. for real that's born ten so why do they bore you uh, you should be the coddled and spoiled they, they one. don't spoil me that's the thing they want to be uh, tough on me and all that because i'm the only girl ah i see but so now bang bang my channel in every way possible Okay, what's one of the ways? Yeah, I, see I see that I you're see driving it. me. I see, I see you're driving me to a particular way. No, I see it. But how can they do that? They they know now it's time. Uh, you know, that's that's uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. I see you um, in because men don't, uh, that's why. Oh, men don't. 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 Men do Glenbreck. Yeah, Apparently now Glenbrek. it's like, mm. uh, it? uh, yeah, it's Glenbreck now. But before it was Glenbreck, that building was Glenview. Mm. And that's where we were in 1996. We did grade one 
96. Uh, that would make me 9. No, 90, 95. Did grade 1. Remember very well. Then I, uh, I was there till grade 7, which is 2000 and, uh, 2001 mm -hmm. or so. Then I left, went to... So my mom f struggled to find me a school because of this fetal area bullshit that used to mm -hmm. happen then. But it's and I don't know how, how I got into a school. Yes, Are you serious? I'm telling you, it's still happening. But at least now people can like fake proof of addresses, addresses. and stuff. You know yeah, what I mean? I Back then you couldn't. You didn't know what the hill proof way. <laughs> you could just go and be like fake me something, you know? Yeah, yeah. So because of that, then I went to a school, uh, St. Catherine's in 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 Germiston Lambton, you know. And for, for my mom, she couldn't afford it, man. To be honest, you know, single mom, already. For me to get some decent schooling, yeah. um, you know, to, to travel, to look good, to dress well. Literally, a lot of people wouldn't know that, you know, that my mom, to pay the bond, to extend the house. My mom did, mm, I think a lot of our parents, and I'm not yeah. unique, a lot of our parents, you look at them, you're like, yo. I remember when my mom passed away and I saw her pay slip, I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, but a salary advice. Uh. I'm like, yo. How the hell? And I'm Did thinking... Did do all these things? Yeah, and I'm mm. thinking at times I'd put pressure on her, right? Because mm. when you're a kid, you think your parents have all the her. money in the world. Yeah. Even when they start to complain and you're like 15, you sort of get to understand 16. But when you're 14, 13, full of the full of this, full of that. Yeah, but, mm, no. yeah, yeah. But I wasn't too like big on clothes, but I she got me accustomed to, you know, nice stuff because I was... I don't know. She just, she just managed could. to do yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. So then I was there for a year. Yeah, well, and then I went to a school in Pannoni, St. Francis. Good school as well, but it was okay. much, much more affordable. But okay. still good quality education as well. And that's where I matriculated in Pannoni. That's where you got your English accent. No, not even. Maybe a scale, a primary. I mean, I don't have that accent. I, I went to the bed for you high school. Nah, nonsense. What did you go to school? Bedford View. We used to call it Oh, bed, bed for you. you. Oh, Bedford Cray. Nabo, 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 Dinuidi. Ah, Dinuidi. You killed us, Hosa Dinuidi. Nabo Chrysler. This is a corner Chrysler. Ah. Okay, what's this? You said Dinuidi. You tell us for the Lenoy one. You said hello. Hello. You know, no S. Hello. And Maria Moose, as long as you move, you go to tea. My name is. I'm just saying. Ah, not Dinuidi. You know what? I'm not going to deal with it. She's got an English accent. Yeah, of I, she's different. Exactly. She's, she's yeah, an well. exception. <laughs> she lived in Leondale. Oh, I'm not just talking cars. Just need to see it. Come on. Never deal with it. Never deal with it. Come on. We shall have four slow. Yeah. We deal with it. Yo, the worst combination ever. Pele four slow on its own as a country. Man, you four slow. I take my passport, pen. And that's how we feel about the spray as well. Why? Like, it's, it's a whole. That's me. Get him on the spray. What's the difference? When I cloud of smoke, <laughs> then I'm like, I'm fully wind. I'm getting the smoke some alarm. Hey, wait, yo! It took me back to like childhood, you know. Yeah, when I would say eat off some alarm, you know, the and lies. Wind. So why the smoke? Why is the cloud of smoke when you enter? Smoke is weird, Togosa. This is a guy, Andy. The Togosa is cause why you in the smoke. Hello, I'm alive. I remember spray man. Like I can I can all order, And then when it's sagala malachi, and you call it the Yeah, but that was like in the eighties. Nineties. Nineties. Eighties, I don't remember anything. I'm born eighty seven. Nineties. I'd visit a spray, remember? I'd visit I've got cousins here. And I'm like, right yeah. So not to force we feel like it's great. It's a whole different country with a whole different culture. And I love Esprit because some of my fondest memories in Kani Pei, you know. I love it, but you attacked Force. Yeah, so. I did not attack. I was just saying. I was just saying. I was just saying. Mara. I was just saying. I was just saying. I was just saying. Why you call hurricane? Big Friday. Friday is the send away. Saturday is a hurricane. Nah, but like hurricane will be storm so forced. Weather utandung a tan.
<laughs> shout out to Hurricane. <laughs> By the way, shout out to Hurricane, man. Like, come let me get in. So yeah. the last time I was going a hurricane, this was a park. And then Bugwa Hurricane or Cabo Hurricane, where that thing used to happen. Yeah. Where Casper shot continue. his video in yeah. Pumagim. I was actually there when he shot that. You know? Um, so. That was the last time you were at Hurricane. Possibly. Yo! Possibly, yeah. So being a kind uncle and so it's beautiful to see, you know. You know, black businesses yeah. grow. It's beautiful. People man. reinvesting into their business, and yeah, man, this is so beautiful. You must come here on a Saturday. Oh, well, I won't book. Yes, it's funny. The East doesn't book me. I get booked all over the country. Kido, ngalu, ngalu Oscar. Yeah. Oh, Kido. Oh, Kido. Oh, Kido. Oh, Kido. Yeah. Who's like a man? Hey, so kala manyala. I'm a cute boy. It's like I want to know. Angaz, Angaz. Yeah, cute. Angaz, Nicks. I'm good, I'm good. But I mean, it's been a while. You, you hear me talk about this wasn't there. So if the wife is listening, this was ages ago when this place wasn't even around. So forgive us. For all our sins. Yes. So she had no girl. I put so fine. I want to. We are calling. We are calling. I feel loud that has been Johnny, but that was sing right, man. Maria Mora, na man, you say. I haven't seen Kido in a while. The police see Tom Beza, Ah, who is? Ah, Lelela. You know, man, you man, you book on a band. Mela, you know, man, you know, man, you know, man, you know, fitted cap. Yeah. Hey, Kido. I got change. Now shout out to Kido, man. He's been. Like a promoter since yo, oh, since the days I was telling you about, right? Yeah, 2011, yeah. 12. Shout out to Kido, man. It's been a while. I look up his. Uh, he's still pushing. Ah, and he's beautiful. doing a great job. It's beautiful to see. Say. And 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 how's how's DJ um, how's DJ Kellis? Is it still big on the sound? Hey, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm three years. Exactly. Aye, man. Sick board. How? But who? I want to spread the first though, this thing I equal. The first though, they would send a a, 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 a a tweet, hey, I see you, but I think I'm disturbing. Could I perhaps, you know, um perhaps. wait for you outside? Can, they can't even spell perhaps. A first look. Perhaps. But but I spray multi spell perhaps, but F. Mm. F for fail. Let's spread the eyes of the spell perhaps. But I was telling us in my clinic, but I was spell it all perhaps. Nah, I'm kidding. Why do I to And I love his spray, and I hate to shy spray in his hand. Shy for the shy spray. I was swear. I was swear. I was I was swear. I was swear. I was swear. I was swear. I was I was swear. I was I was swear. I Diane Cockcroft, some white lady, started like a night school for, you know, um, teachers would go there to, I don't know, do what, people would go there to do some form of schooling. And then they were like, you're such a good teacher, you're incredible. Why don't you start a school for our kids? And then she yeah. did. And that's why it had so many black kids, mm, you know. There'd be sense. the exceptional white kid here and there because the school was that good, you know. So, yeah, she okay. built it from nothing as well. Um, so, yeah, man, it was Shout a good school, that. though. Yeah, so but I got the thing right, I mean, I sing Polish, but also it was a good school, though. Okay. Bring rap, oh, they told you, yeah, I used to rap. Have you had a reason on here? No, not yet. Is it? It's from around here. I was. know. When's that? But since I'm a it's from around here, reason. Mm. Yeah, I used to rap, man. I used to rap. Savage. It used to okay. be my rap name. Hit us with the line. I can't, Sam. I don't want to lie. I stopped rapping in 36. <laughs> I stopped rapping... You're not 16. It's literally been 34 years. I mean, um, 36, 16, <laughs> aye, aye, aye. 20 years. I'm always I'm man. <laughs> mamela, mamela. 36. Yeah. It's been uh, mm, I think 20 years. Mm. It's been 20 years. You know? It's, where did I get the four from? It's been 20 <laughs> years. I haven't rapped in 20 years, guys. Come on. It's not like I'm there last week. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah five years. Like, 
But five he years a after, oh, a rapper. five years. In fact, when I crushed Reason in a rap battle, I stopped rapping. I didn't be rapping for like three you years. You crushed him. Yeah, <laughs> it was a, 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 a competition in Marvel. I like telling the story. I've told it a million times. <laughs> okay, let's you know, hear it. Because it's true. Okay. So he knows also. But it was um, a, a rap battle competition sponsored by Willard's Chips. It was in Marvel. Uh, 2000 and... Five or six, mm. I think six. I don't think my mom was alive then. Two thousand and six, I think I was in matric. Um, so yeah, man, and went there, battled. Like two people killed them, and they're funny. They're still in the game, but not as rappers. One is called. Uh, no, no, he killed me. But the other two are still in the game. Also, everybody's still in the game. Funny. Okay. The one was Osmic. You know, Osmic okay, yeah. back to the city. Yeah. He might not remember. Killed him. The other one was, um, I think it was Jesus, Garrick. He's still like, he used to call himself Jesus, like mm. Jesus, but now changed. Uh, but it's he's also like in film and stuff. And then Flo Mukale used to be like a rapper, poet, but he still takes pictures. He's oh, a, okay. He's an all-round all artistic guy. He's the one. Oh, and Reason, man. Then I saw killed three people. Then I met Flo, and he was just a clown. He was like a, one of those <laughs> comedian rappers, joke mm. rappers. And mm. I was like, what is this? And I'm like a hard punchline, big yeah. L yeah. kind of rapper, you know? So I was like, fuck it. And then, yeah, but I, I, I knocked Reason out in one of the rounds. I met him, but we'd met before because we used to use the same studio um, by a guy who used to call himself Stethoscope. Okay. He produced, like, a big portion of Proverbs' first album. Mm -hmm. um, that's the guy who did... Uh, then he tried doing House. He did House, in fact. He produced... Remember When It Rains by Swoo? Oh, yes, Where he yes. sampled Josh Groban. So he yeah. took the whole sample craft from hip-hop. And then Swoo was like... Because what happened was he worked with Outrageous Records, worked with TS, and then TS loved this stuff. And they were like, here's the thing. Try producing some 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 Kwaito. He did some songs from Zege Zege. And then Smooth said, I'm doing house. Went to him, did remember when it rains. Hmm. Now he's in property, he's building. Okay. So from making house to building them, hmm. literally. <laughs> he literally does them. Shout out to Ste, in Dalo Project is his company. So we used to record at Ste's house, hence the name Stethoscope. But his previous name was called Mr. Seaman, a funny name. I tease him about Yo. it all the time because he's the producer. So that's where it came from, you know? <laughs> Oh, oh. I tease him. More. He's gonna call me when he sees it, like ah, Joe. But yeah. I think he's over it anyway. You know, is um, Tay not the one I was trying to get hold, a hold of? Cause I wanted like some funny shit from him. Anything that Tay, Tay, yeah. Uh, James Stone High Tay. Yeah. Yeah. What did you want? What did you mean? What did you mean? Now, growing up. Oh, from Tay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He knows. You could have, should have called him actually. Yeah. So that's where Reason and I met. And reason when we met, he used to call himself um, Mad Massacre. Mm. So reason was Mad Massacre when we met in that studio. And then when he got signed to Outrageous Records, because he started doing, uh, uh, not even before, he started doing Ama Ama things go fresh. Yeah. Actually, he'll tell his own story. Yeah. But Re Mad Massacre became Reason the Mass. Oh, okay. Reason the Massacre, and then it just became Reason. Okay. So yeah, I killed him. And then I rapped out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. I can't remember word for word how it went, but I'm sure it was competitive because he's a he's a flipping amazing he is, rapper. He is. Also, funny enough, I think he was coming from performance. Or another, there was two rap battles happening that day. I think he was coming from another one at Outrageous Records, but mm -hmm. I went to the Willard's one at, at a club called um, Monsoon Lagoon, up next to Monaco in mm -hmm. in, in Melville. Yeah. No, nah, I was a kid then. Literally, I just saw this thing, heard this thing on YFM. I I asked someone, ooh, some guy called Inspector. He was trying to rap, but he drive a local for slow. I was like, take me to a clapping. <laughs> local, that's local. No padding. I'm a pair. No, I'm a pair, like mm. a pair, like, you know? Mm. So it wasn't like me. I was busy trying to get in the game. I was like, oh, there's a battle. There's money to be won. Fuck, I'm going. I'm one of the illest people of Forslo. I'm fucking going to battle whoever's there. 
Jeez. So it wasn't like a hustle kind of mm. thing. Like I was still in high school. So music never, like it wasn't a hustle till much later. And then the transition from rapping to DJ. So I, I told you <coughs> when I went to the battle, yeah. I like stopped rapping for like three, three years already. Yeah. Uh, or two years. I was... Uh, uh, making music, so yeah, it's a scare. Like, number Fruity Loops, Fruity Loops is FL, by the way. So, before I continue, FL Studio is what was called Fruity Loops before. So, when the guy started it, he called it Fruity Loops, yeah. And mm -hmm. he didn't think it was gonna be for mm -hmm. music making okay. purposes, it was like a game slash whatever. But you could make loops and stuff, okay. you know. But people found a way of making music, and then he focused on that. And then I figured Kellogg's. Kellogg's, the guys that make uh, uh, um, um, Conflicts mm. cereal, s wanted to sue him for the name Fruity Loops because oh. they had Fruit Loops. Oh. So then in 2004, <clears throat> or when he they made Fruity Loops 4, it became FL, which is obviously mm. for the origin, original name Fruity Loops, yeah. FL Studio. Okay. Um, so that's where the name comes from, Little School. So, yeah, I, I got Fruity Loops from our uh, Tiskela. Took it home, gave it to my friend. He was making the beats. I was the rapper. But I was like, nah, I also want to make beats as well. Mm -hmm. Started making beats. Fell in love with that. Stopped rapping. I really just honestly grew out of it. <laughs> and um, when I got to Varsity, UJ. I was mm -hmm. the period of about euphonic. I was like, where UJ? So there's that culture. He was even like, he was no longer there a lot. I wouldn't see him anyway. But there was still that culture of making your own beats, house, you know, the songs blowing up, Black Coffee's doing the things, tribal music is huge, mm. you know? And mm. I, I know how to make beats, I know how to sample. Ngapa Black Coffee, yeah, he's man. from the AG, he used to now sample Abu Busim Kong and stuff. So I was like, shit, Tate just dropped Remember When It Rains with mm. DJ Smoo. I'm like, damn, I'm in a position where I'm equipped to actually make this stuff. And I started there with the house music and... Gradually fell in love with it, and that's how the transition then happened. What's the name of the DJ? Oh, Sfiso! Yo, 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 yo! Shout out to Sfiso DJ, man, uh, from Mifoslo. Uh, it's a family man now, you know? Um, no, man, Sfiso, so <coughs> I told her when I got Fruity Loops, I gave it to one of my friends, Stay. Now, that's a different Stay. Okay. There's a stethoscope, then there's Stay, my stay. friend. Okay. Stay gave him, he used to make. Then he also explored with the beats, made beats. I was the rapper. He made the beats. And then he made the transition first. Because we are full slow. I'm busy with the nigga stuff, rapper. Mm. But then you know, he's busy with the music, the beats. And then he meets other people who like, oh, damn, you can make this. Yeah. But you can surely make this as well. And that was Fiso, right? Oh, okay. And that's then, you know, Fiso taught him then how to DJ, etc. And actually, Fiso gave me my first DJing lessons as well. At a much later period, so that's how I met Sfiso through Stay. But he's been one guy who believes in me, like no matter what, you know. Awesome so, dude, very nice dude. Super chilled guys. Sfiso is an oak, cool, cool, super gent. Yeah, no, he's, he's awesome. Sfiso tall, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's really tall, <laughs> really yeah. tall. Yeah. Okay, so the music, the DJing, yeah, and then now radio. Ah, radio. Hey. I mean, I'm not in my excitation. So, how do you get to. Oh, wow. No, no, no. You think this? Oh, no. You think I'm going to be like this? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be like this. I'm going to be like this. I'm going to be like this. Why? It's a happy place to be in, you know. I'm going to be like this. I'm going to be like Machine she not the little suit. Oh, she not the little suit. Hi, So you're a pair uh, to someone out there. <laughs> and then you move to Joba and go to Uperi Keys. I got it. Mm. I got it. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's like a poo 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 with this one. I'm like, what? Okay. Uperi Keys in there. Are you a peach or more than now, eh? She's a peach. <laughs> Oh, sure. Like, you know, yeah, come on. It's, it's, you can just com compliment someone without having, you know, motives or intentions. Of course. I'm like that. Course. I comment a lot. Like, Thank I, you. I compliment and comment a lot. Thank you very much. The radio. Yeah. I told you, UJ is where the house bug bit. 
And um, I remember when Stairs living room, my friend, I think I was in grade 11 or 12. Remember the moment, you know, and they were like, hey, man, you must have try radio. You always want the last word whenever, we, you know, we're talking. And it's always you were listening to anyway. Yeah, but, so that stuck. You know, and I, I remember back then there was this um, sitcom called SOS with about Isaac Chalk. We're playing Dopey. Um, and, you know, there was like, it was based around these varsity students who live in a commune and yeah. one of them does or two of them in the house or one of them does campus radio so one of the other shots would see you know would always be in there and i was like this is cool you know so when i went got to uj the first thing i wanted to see was the radio station yeah well and to be honest i was not a big radio guy like listening to radio and stuff i'd listen to it if there was something special happening okay <laughs> so i remember when um about fresh um in, on the morning tato and tato they did um a battle thing at gandhi square where pro kid was there and and he battled Ado adonis who was one of the biggest rappers then i'd tune in for moments like that or when pro kid battled kato okay. in the morning or when they said there's gonna be this rapper or whatever you mm, know mm. um so i wasn't an avid radio listener but they got into radio because my friends were like you could be actually good at this and you, you love music anyway. So when I got there, that's what I wanted to see. And lo and behold, it was there, UJFM. And um, they said I must do a demo. But obviously at home, I've got a whole um, production thing, microphones and stuff mm. in my in my commune in Brixton, in my room, bedroom. So I just got there, did a, a demo. They liked it. They said, oh, come on. And that's where it started. It's nice. Mm. Oh, okay. Is it? Do you think it's hard, harder now to get into radio than it was back then? Yeah, definitely. Also, though, definitely. What's different? Because back then, program managers still needed to listen to demos. I need the mm. loo, actually. Okay. I wanted to say program managers still needed to take the loo, but I. Get you, ma. Yeah. Get you, man. Yes, right there. Ah, uh, see what you did there, nice. <laughs> no, but it is. It's literally sinet. Oh, it's sinet. It's, it's literally sinet. Just translated in Sosoto. Oh wow. But a sinet. Yeah, but Mushashwe loved the English and stuff. Mm -hmm. In the fly and met the queen. And all Mushashwe, hey, your king. It goes a good king. Are we back? <laughs> We're back. I think it's harder now to get into radio. Well, f even though a lot of kids don't want to get into radio now yeah. because of this YouTube, this TikTok, there's so many things that people do, you know, they just go viral, but they live somewhere online mm -hmm. um, and people do that. However, I think... A lot of program managers, I'm assuming, don't listen to demos, mm. right? And sometimes they want you to put yourself out there. So maybe you could be on radio, but they'll discover you here. Yeah, I, this is where I'm going as well. You see, and that's yeah. a smart way of doing it and approaching it, you know? Um, and also, a demo can sound cool and great. Because I think back then, the, the demo would help in them hearing how you sound mm. but them knowing you you takes more than just one minute of you speaking you know you can put that on you can practice it a thousand times but when you're doing something like this they know you mm. right mm. they can watch hours and hours of you and see how you deal with situations are you really the person you say you are your personality etc yeah, yeah um so i think Due to that, it becomes more difficult because there's so much talent out there, mm, there is, that is true. exposed. Talent has always been there, but before, I mean, our generation, your Kabzelas and them, and they were all over. And most of there was no YouTube, there was no TikTok, there was mm. no Facebook, there was no Facebook Live, Insta mm. Live, there was no voice noting. You know where you could voice note someone, and somehow someone would be like, "Damn, send this to that guy, that radio guy," and. You get discovered like that. You literally either needed to take a taxi and, and, but I still think it was easier then. Now, talent is more accessible, but there's so much talent exposed.
because there's always been talent. It's just that the access to exposure is just there. Everyone has it. So I think there's such a huge pool of people to choose from. Sheesh. So less hurdles, but there's so many talented people. Yeah, it's like, who are you? Well, but you're still you. And if sometimes you're good, you're good. You know what I mean? Like it's, and also sometimes it's just a matter of your time coming. As long as you keep on the right path, keep doing what you're doing, being diligent, and keep applying yourself, bettering yourself. The and time, as the well. time comes. Mm-hmm. Patience as well. The time really comes. Sometimes it comes and goes and comes again. Look at Mac, Mac G. Look at yeah, me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's like that, uh, and it's just patience. <sighs> okay, I'll be patient. And sometimes don't put like I love radio. I'm on radio, but also sometimes you can build something amazing from this, and this could and be your thing. Like yeah. Mac, I, I know some radio stations want him, but it's like nah. Grand. I own all my time, so why would I, you know? Yeah. And I'm happy with where I'm at. Nah. So with you, maybe if- first first year of doing it, yeah, he possibly would have taken the gig, but now nah, I think he's at a point where it's like nah, mm. you know. And then mm. with me, I love it, man. You know what I mean? I love it. And I, with me, I felt like you know, I still have more to contribute there as well. Okay. Um, even in, in, in the podcasting space, I have so much more to contribute. But I, I love both. I'm a broadcaster. So my know? question would not be fair if I said you'd had to choose one. Right it, now, it wouldn't be fair because you feel like it, you still it wouldn't. have to contribute. But ultimately, I'd probably... I've got a, a few years, a lot of years left in radio, mm-hmm. you know, but I think ultimately it would be maybe possibly podcasting mm-hmm. based on, let's say I want to move. Say, let's say, with a bit of podcasting, say I want to move provinces. Say I want to mm. live in, in, in Nisna or let's say I want to buy a house, you know, in Limpopo. The land is cheap, building is cheap, it's so you can buy... S- that's why people have such massive houses. Sure. I mean, number one, they're disciplined with their money, but the land and to build there is cheap. And I want to build myself a nice, you know, comfortable mansion for myself, my kids, my wife. But I still want to broadcast. Then I'd end up doing podcasting, you know, because it allows you that freedom. It doesn't keep you in one place, same time. You just have to be consistent in uploading and recording. So you still need to take time to m- do the work. But um, it's difficult to choose. But... Ultimately, it may possibly be podcasting because of the freedom, you know. Um, but yeah, and also because I already have a head start as far as you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm a podcaster, yeah. well-known podcaster. Yeah. So well known. Yeah. So you also want to use that? Yeah. Well, we earned it now. Nah? Yeah. No, you did. Exactly. Uh, hey. Hey, not didn't... at all. <laughs> 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 no, nah, not even. You'd be surprised. It's just consistency. You'd you'd be surprised. A lot of people think there's it's consistency most most of all. Of yeah. course, the content needs to be compelling, engaging, yeah. and exciting, entertaining. Uh, but unpredictable but you know you need to be consistent and that's where the trick is and yeah you'd be there man i mean look at mac where he started the podcast you know it wasn't like many moons ago mm. look, look now now we got this right <laughs> and then when uh, big brother hey what about it Oh, I see where you're going to go. Wow. Okay. What about Big Brother? How was that experience for you? You it know, is. I've auditioned twice for it. And I auditioned, um, I auditioned at Wanderers once. Auditioned, uh... What does the audition ha! look like? Yes. I auditioned at Wanderers. Yeah. Once. Auditioned at The Pyramid. Um... They used to have like studios as well, downtown Jersey. What's his father? Harrell Solko, the guy who founded Soul Candy. His father is Ellis. He owns Ama 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 Ellis area uh, uh, um, Those bunny aerials. Okay. And even the Ellis satellite dishes. Okay. So that they own that whole precinct. You know? Oh, okay. So yeah, it was there. Second edition flopped, and I made it on the third edition. So maybe you shouldn't have stopped on your second edition. No, third second edition, edition was Third edition last, yeah. was at the base. 
I auditioned for baseline, sorry. Titans and whatnot. Oh, that big course. Brother, big brother. When Titans. you see Kosi and see yourself, do you feel like I'm gonna answer you? But do you feel like <laughs> you were gonna? Uh, yeah, I, I think. Her, well? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think you're gonna be a people. I think you've got a thing. People love you, and also you grew up in a house of boys. Those kind of girls are more exciting than girly, girly girl girls. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a girly girl. Yes, you're far a, from you're it. You're a woman, definitely. It's like there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about. <laughs> there's no doubt. About, <laughs> there's no doubt about any. But sometimes I create lines. Or yeah, <laughs> rainbow. So yeah, well, but you, you, it's 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 clear. It's okay, but you still have a very you know, or a grown, mature. Like who Brenda? Why are you laughing? Brenda who? Uh, wait, wait. Like Brenda Farsi. Oh. I want to Brenda. She was a woman, woman, but she still had a clever, you know. So I'm not saying you're like rugged like Brenda. I know you are like, a, you know. I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying what they know. You know what I'm saying. No, right? do you? No. They, not like, him. No. He's uh. laughing. <laughs> The one watching, it's okay, yes, you guys, do you get it? But, 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 your kind of girls tend to get loved, you know. I know in our uh, thing with a girl, she was a girly girl, but also Iris, you yeah, know, and they loved her as well. Um, you remember Iris, yeah, I think she's married now. Hey, oh, she went to Dinwiddie, uh, <laughs> go to Dinwiddie. so wow. what, yeah, so Iris, what? Hey, Dinwiddie, hey, Dinwiddie, hey, Dinwiddie. <laughs> Dinwiddie. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, man. Um, Big Brother was an incredible experience. Uh, for me, I wanted the experience because I've always been a fan of Big Brother. So Same. as as you can tell, I went to audition three times, right? And I was like, I always knew that nah, camera. As much as I'm a bit antisocial, yeah, I don't like people a lot. But I remembered my days in 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 um in the commune in varsity, and I was like. I work on Big Brother because I'm a morning person. I don't take a while to defrost, you know, mm -hmm. and get into the day and get into the swing of things. I've always have something to say. I'm opinionated. I'm entertaining. Yeah. I say some stuff. You're loud. I'm loud. I'm going to annoy people, but people will love me and yeah. I possibly will annoy even those watching, but fuck it. It's a great experience. I want it for myself as well. And you could win money. So I just went there three times. Mind you, three fucking all the two, the first two times it was for the Big Brother Africans. Maybe mm. that's why, because the pool mm. of the South Africans, they could only choose two, right? And they knew sometimes they know what they're looking for. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they're like, we need an ugly girl and a very handsome guy. And that's that. Yeah. Sometimes like we need very too short, very too short people, <laughs> or we need a guy else that, and they know. Yeah. yeah. And when you get there, you're amazing. They love you, but they're like, ah, let's go back to. Eye on the ball. What do we need? And also now the auditions are online. So I don't think the experience is the same. Because you have to post, uh, put up a video of you saying, ah, uh, well, I And don't. people can... Yeah. <laughs> and the problem about online is that, like I said, with the radio demos, people can retake so many times, perfect mm. it. But I know they're going to recall you to come at, I'm in person. Now. Okay. So they want to wanna see that person translate into... The actual person. Okay, I'll try again for the last no, time. No, try again. Try again this year. <coughs> I think you, you you could make it, but sometimes it's like if ever you audition for Big Brother and you don't make it, it's not your fault. Sometimes Yeah. Or sometimes Banabo. So let's say it's about Katie. Already. But it's Nayo Munye. But you also it's Nayo Munye. Ah, we have another, just yeah. like him, even with exactly. his glasses. Exactly. Then, exactly your cover the you know, sometimes it's a bit of luck, but you have to put, you know, like your A game. Just because sometimes, not everybody, okay, recently it's a bit easier, but also it makes it more difficult. Because if you look at the big brother that BU was in, um, the guy who plays um, Ufuyani on 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 Adulting. Oh yes. See, mm -hmm. he's from Big Brother Mzansi now, now, right? But everyone in that house, Abu Temba, Abu Mpoa, Badimu, mm. everyone had is either a musician, actor, actress. Mm. So now Big Brother is going that route where. They want From what I see, they want entertainers because those people grow within the entertainment industry. Mm. So whereas before, I was about to say, 
Before the figure pop, and my name, I'm not a papa, I never have a fire bong, I'm not a papa in clean. Because sometimes my phone is the guy with an office job. Yeah. We also had those guys, Abu Puli. We also had guys who just had an office job, you know, just came yeah. there, and nothing wrong with an office job, but he was there for the experience. Experience, yeah. And then had no ambitions of being in entertainment. It's just, I want to bounce. If I didn't win, I didn't win, but I had the experience and yeah. the thrills. Yeah. And he's probably out there living a very ha happy and healthy life with his family. You know what I mean? But they're going that way now. So it's possible to just be there, be yourself as you are, and mm -hmm. they'll take you. Because maybe it's a house of people like you, which is what we saw re more recently. And this thing, you're doing, I'm going to talk I didn't join me. Um, there's a girl I like, Kat. Even am going to talk to Okay, why cat? No, she had a nice body. Mm. She had a cute face, but it didn't mean much. But she had a nice body. It didn't mean much. It, the cute faces never mean much to me, okay. to be honest. But funny but enough, a lot of my women have always been beautiful, you know, even currently. But yeah. um, the body, yeah, uh, uh -uh. the body must bang, man. Mm. You know? I know what the young saw me, but <laughs> in so, in so, but in funa lo in funa yo. Yeah, you yeah, want what you want, and if she that. and if she likes me, she'll like me. You know what yeah. I mean? But if her priority is also, then maybe she might not like me if it's also party. Yeah, well, but yeah, so that's why I like cat most mostly. And then you're gonna like watch. I'm No man, yo, a lot. She was beautiful also, so a lot of people wanted her, and um, she didn't fuck anyone, so it doesn't count. She just was stuck with someone. It was with Jace. But they didn't do anything. Even after the house, I don't think anything happened. No more until also then wanted. Now I have to develop our feelings. That's uh, 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 one of the other guys hey, in the house. Hey, you funa, yeah. So no one got bums. So even after you didn't reach out to anything, like... Now nah, I pulled up at the house to show him my new car the one time. <laughs> like, I pulled up with my Merc. And I was rather like, yo, I'm in, I'm in Clay Vista. I'm in your hood. She's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, she's like, oh, you came to show me in your car. And I didn't realize that's what I was doing, but it's actually what I was yeah. doing, you know? Yeah, so that's the last time I saw her. Aww. But I think I saw her uh, around on Twitter. She's doing well for herself. That's good. She's looking good. She, yeah, she's amazing. Still a banging body. Has I didn't see the body. I'm not just looking at the body. Anymore. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. Pilar. Nah. Now no, you're in cloud I mean, nine. Hmm? Now you're in cloud nine. Yeah, but also... Yes, I'm in Bona. Obviously, if I met her at Club B, the Mudu Chela, or Shangana for lunch, I was going to tell you, yeah, body's banging. But I didn't, I'm just seeing on, 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 on Twitter or whatever, you know? So I haven't really gone, yeah, but Kat is probably maintained. She looks like the kind of person. Great, great person. Great human. Okay. Beautiful human, yeah? Mm. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see later. Mm -mm. <laughs> No, I'm not a boozer. Boozer, boozer. I'm a pendula, man. Oh, baby, eh? Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, God, baby. All right. All right. That's all right. Why blush? All right. I'm blush. <laughs> like, obviously, I'm a boozer. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. Smile. I'm going to smile. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to see you. Cool, yes. Now I'm going to see you. Yo, I'm such a lover, eh? Like, Are the you? one thing about me, like, I'm such a lover. Like, I've got a big heart. I'm giving of my time I'm, I, I try to be considered i'm not perfect yeah but when i love i love you know like from an early age i've always been in relationships for the long run mm. and if i'm not i'll make it clear but if i'm in one i'll say and even those where i say i'm not i give a lot of myself so i don't want to lie like in patana grand like yeah I'm an emotional person, so yes, I'm a I'm not perfect man, you know, but I really, really do my best to make someone feel loved. safe, mm -hmm. protected, loved, provided for, and seen, you know. But I'm only human. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're such a teddy bear. I am. Oh. I am. I am. <laughs> I am. That I agree. Okay. Um. I want to talk about something that you always talk about. Your gambling experience. Damn, okay, we'll be brief on that because I speak yeah, about no, it so much, I, I know, hate it. Yeah, I know, I know. But this is just a uh, touch base type of thing. Yeah. I want to know how you got out of it. 
Oh, good question. You see, these are the questions I like. These are the questions I like. Ah, you got it. Because it's the same uh, story. Kapungani, yeah, in yeah. fact. And then slap football la 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 la. You know, and yeah. then you know when you moon to sash and then yeah. oh okay, I'm like, oh okay, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, I can do mm. that. I'm like, damn, okay. Yeah, well but Joe, you you need to and uh, there's a guy, a music producer, that's piano. You know, hit hit me up and we're like, yo bro, I'm going through this. A lot of people don't know. Um and you know, like I, I, like how did you do it and mm. stuff. And I told him, I said <clears throat> the one thing about gambling is you will lose, lose a few times, and then you know you want to recoup what you've lost, mm. right? Mm. And in doing that, you lose more. And the one time it was a winner, and the and then you realize hey, you've lost this much, and then. Uh, you've won this much, maybe it's enough to pay off whatever debt you have, but you'll also realize that you've lost so much that is not financial. You know, sometimes mm. you've drifted away from friends, mm. sometimes you've lost a relationship because you were secretive all yourself, mm. you know, and then you want to know this shit owes me more than mm. the money. Then you mm. go back, and that's the psyche of it, then you go back. So that money you've won, you won't even, even pay your debts, you'll put it all back in, you know? And you will stop when you're sick and tired. If you don't stop before you realize, you see, and a lot of people have been there. So when I tell guys, I'm like, you will only stop when you are really, really sick and tired and you would have lost a lot more. And it's so not difficult to stop. I think f for me, I, I got lucky because, you know, I started like a business. So I had something to keep me busy. Okay. But it was a matter of, fuck. I like nice things, mm. you know? I like things. And when you g gambling, and a lot of people suffer with that problem, you know, with all this sports betting. I hope you don't have a sponsor, maybe. That is one of those, but it's a reality. You know, kids kill themselves over sports Such, betting. Yeah. And with us, gambling was like a China thing or mm, casino thing. Mm. But ever since the, 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 the prevalence and, you know, the the... The surge of a lot of these it's companies everywhere. mushrooming mm. everywhere. What what bets? What what bet? What what bets? You know what I mean? Mm. All over. And if you look closely, all of them will sell like a, a, a lifestyle, right? Yeah. Like they'll show you a guy with a flashy car and a suit and a tux and two sexy honeys. Yeah. Even even if you go to the bookmakers and you look at these numbered things they play there, it all just goes in skimpy dresses. So there's this Weird, and whatnot. there's this weird mm. glamour that they sell, but they're always popping up where in the impoverished areas, mm. they're always popping up in town, CPD, where people are working for five grand at a butchery to go blow it there, hoping for that dream. You know, even in Santon, it's at the taxi rank. Mm. You see, like in mm. Santon, mm. I saw one, I was, uh, I was going to Mandela School, I'm like, look, it's at the taxi rank. Where well, all these people come here, wake up at four o'clock to work for their money and go there to blow their money as well. well. How come there's no bookmaker in Sandhurst? How come there's no bookmaker in Richards Bay, in Cape Town, in Camps Bay? Not Richards Bay is not in Cape Town, but Camps Bay in Cape Town. How come there's no bookmaker in all these rich neighborhoods? Mm. You know? Mm. And if there is, it's probably maybe one in Bedford View and the guy's cleaning money because even the owners there are like mafia-ish as well. Unscrupulous people. And sometimes they'll say the winnings are 10 million maximum. The day you win the 10 million, it's going to be the hardest thing to get. Mm. You know? So that's another thing also. You, and you eventually realize that you're getting into a deeper hole and the only way to get out of a hole is to stop digging. You know? If you're in a hole, hey man, Stop digging, yeah, because yeah. the you and you're digging, hoping you're gonna get out somewhere, and there's a greener pasture, bright thing, you know. But there's just nothing. It's just you keep sinking, and that's why eventually people kill themselves. So with me, I was lucky because I got something that kept me busy, and I could see my money. Like, okay, wait, man, maybe I didn't go for ten days. I have this much for thirty days. I have this much. Mm. Fuck, that's a lot of money. I could even go to Durban. And I could even go fly, do some shit, buy things. You know what I mean? And with gambling is you, you see your money, it goes. 
And then we are saba you know to follow no swipe. We are saba no to peg, you know. I balance your born, but a saba no to peg with the EAP. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like that. Mm. Yeah, but so when you realize that and if you're fortunate enough to still generate an income in your best position, because once you stop generating an income, when you get whatever money you'll get, you wanna recoup money or you wanna make the money more because but if you're still lucky enough to still earning stop immediately and just focus on your work whatever you're busy with your work just focus on that and you'll find yo it's been six months damn yo it's been a year and you don't even remember the year anniversary it's not like you wake up it's a special thing mm. but because you're just so happy and you can buy whatever you want to buy and that's the beauty of like gambling steals all of that from you like and then you go yeah now you and maybe we move those standards and those some nandi maybe you're gonna get, go get a cologne you know or buy a pair of sneakers or take yourself out you and your woman you know yeah you stop doing all those little things and stuff because and even when you do them it consumes you because you have to check your checking results and all this thing mm. so to me it was just uh, there was no specialist and no mm. counseling it was like yo bro. And at times you have to accept. A lot of times you have to accept defeat, cut your losses. Because a lot of times your pride says, I can, I'm smart enough, I can make it back. But also the smartness in you should say, if you're really smart enough, you would have won ages ago. Mm. Right? And then you also you Google, like with me, like I Googled. And I saw who actually makes money from this. And there were a few guys, few and far between, right? Like they make billions because they've got like, they're programmers and mathematicians, statisticians, and they draw up softwares. They write softwares with algorithms, and they've got people working in their offices. There's one guy in Australia, billionaire, you know, dropped out of varsity to do that, but they started by counting cards mm. and shit. And then you ask Bella, you, I'm not that smart, you know? Yeah. You ask Bella, I'm not that smart. And if they could make it, and it's like the 1% that could make it in this gambling thing, forget it, bro. You know, and everyone who claims to be making it, making a living, nah. Sometimes either they're affiliates, meaning they will say they're making money, go on Twitter, and they're working with uh, these companies, and they'll say, here's a bet coupon, go bet on it, but use my code. Mm. Then the bookmaker pays them Damn. for that code, mm. so they don't, it's like Forex guys. They come to you saying, I can help you trade Forex. Let me teach you. But they make the money from teaching you. And that 1000 you're paying for a course or a seminar, they make money there. They don't make money teaching. So how for these guys on social media pushing these things, they don't even make money from betting. A lot of them are losing money from betting. They make money from saying they make money about betting. Mm. You know, when you realize all these things, when you realize what you, the odds are against you and... When you've been to a bookmaker, you'll see they're always painting every other Friday. They've got new screens, TV, big flat screens, the newest TVs. Mm. Then you realize this is a money-making business. It is. And that's what it is, a business. And most importantly, no one is in the business of making you rich. What kind of business is that? Mm. If I open up this place, Hurricane, no one is in the business of making people rich. Everybody's in the business of taking money from people. Of course. Just give them value, right? So yeah. people come here, they create memories. Mm. But when you then open a, bet a betting account, or it's nice for fun, but once you start getting deep into it and you get addicted, and most people think, I'm not addicted, I'm just trying to win my money mm. back. That's when you're addicted because it means you're going to bet with everything that you have and every chance you get. Then you're addicted. So people think addiction is... Oh, nah. mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. now you're getting withdrawals. No, it's you thinking you're smart enough to recoup your money, you know, and that's the thing. People must wake up. So when I came across that realization, I was like, nah, I, I was sick and tired. And you have to get sick and tired. You don't have to just listen to me because that's where you're going to go. And a lot of people like if you've been gambling for two years, obviously it's not profitable. There's one out of a thousand guys profitable for. For the rest, it's not. They mustn't lie to themselves. What they've lost in this two years, they'll lose more in the next two years. And more and more and more. It doesn't get better. And eventually, you want to off yourself or kill yourself. And there's stories like that. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, man. It's, that shit is broken family. So, with me, luckily enough, I didn't have kids or a wife. I lost a woman, you know. But I didn't have 
serious things. Yeah, serious and sometimes people like, yo, bro, kill themselves. They do. You know, like, hey, so I went on Kenabandu coming to take things. Yeah. Collecting. Collecting. Yeah. Hi, who saw? Who saw? Who saw? Yeah, man. It's like, bad. it's it's bad. It's bad. I've heard stories like crazy. Because I Googled and I'm one person used to like live in front. I still do. Googled and I was like, this shit is bad. And sometimes you have to just stop lying to yourself. You're no special. And it's even worse when you're like, you're so talented in other things. And you're like, damn, I'm actually talented in a lot of things. How about I do that? You know? And that's called betting on yourself. So sometimes you'd rather just bet on yourself. Not on funny things you don't know nothing about. Some yeah. things are fixed. Some are this, some are that. Bet on yourself and your abilities. And so when you stop and you focus on the work that you do and stuff that you're good at or stuff that is actually making you something or a living, it's called betting on yourself. And that's what everybody else does. So just bet on yourself. Hey now. You know? Hey, you too important? Yeah, la la la. Usenzani. Yo, dude. Sekazi lentelena. Unje? Hi, when? Hi, when? I want to have a spread. Hey, hey. But so, I want to have a spread. Now, I was born to go out of the kid on two exceed. Ah, but don't you have it? Yo, I was born so well. Hey, and so, I want to have a spread. 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 I want to yeah, that, that new was like you. Oh, hey. Iwena. Yeah, like mm, Iwena. Wow. Mm. Yeah, so that's the story, man, you know. But you that's asked a, you asked a great question. Yeah. A lot of people always like, how did you get it? No. Whatever, whatever. They don't ask the right questions yeah. that will empower Power. whoever's yeah. watching. Or like, yo, help. bro. And there's a lot of people, believe it or not, who are going through, especially, there's a reason these things keep popping up, guys, everywhere. Yeah. There's a lot of people, young black kids, Old people, even young people with promising futures who get caught up in this. Gambling is not evil. Do it. Yeah. 250, 255 rand. And that's it. And I'm going to get your fees because you think it's going yeah. to. Forget about these lights and the things that they promise you there. Just play, you know, mm. for when, you know. Um, but there's a don't lot of people. There's a lot of lifestyle. people who don't do it recreationally. It's yes. like uh, they think they can crack, crack it, and find a way. Nah, it's not possible. It's not. Po it's possible, it's, but it's highly it's rare. probable yeah. and Im yeah, highly improbable, super rare. Like I said, the people who make those kind of monies are like super smart people like statistics yo i googled i was like yo these are like some are varsity graduates some are software designers mm. probability and ah uh, it's not and when i hope i was say <laughs> my vimbella so <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do i mean come on and these guys are an established business and they're an established business i mean some of these businesses sponsor teams in the premier league mm. about they sponsor big leagues, guys. Come on. They sponsor big shows. Because it's money they just have lying around from people who think they're smart enough to win against them. Mm. The house. Mm. The house. Mm. Always. Mm. Wins. Yo, Eric, you know Granger. You know MG. Hey, what's up? You know Hey, MG. You know You know Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, man. You guys, Luna, and your noise and your controversy. But anyway, I'll sit well up. <sighs> you love it, though. Oh, no, no, no. It's Trust not, me. It's not just controversy. You know, we've had so many shows, educational shows. People always focus on... It's probably on more of the educational shows that you have. I don't know. It's more, but yeah. what makes noise and what catches, you know, fire in the media is everything else. Blowjobs and mm, all these other things. Why which are nice, ah. but... It's like in life. During the day, you work hard. You educate yourself. You yeah. make money. Back home, you get wild. You're nice. You know what I mean? And that's life. And it's a balance. And we've got that balance. 
and your relationship with Mixi outside of the podcast. How is that? Because I remember one time you were like, yeah, you did not invite me to your party. Hey, shoot me. No, no. no. But can I, be, can I be honest? When I said that, right? Yeah. Deep down, I didn't want him to invite me. <laughs> like, I'm one of those guys. Like, oh, I need to go for a Oh, no. but deep down, I, I, like, I really didn't want to be bothered and had you invited me. I was going to say, oh, Antoine. Yo, boy. Yes, he made it. I wanna um tana une eh 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 une press giving a scale and I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, so daily duties. Oh, I'm on a date with my daughter or whatever. You know what I mean? Are you that much of an introvert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather not. So I was just teasing him. Uh but and I think he knows that. That's why we don't hang around a lot outside unless we've got work. Mm. Unless we're gigging, we're booked at the same place. Yeah. Because people like booking us together. Yeah. <coughs> to, you know, give chillers an experience of wherever course. they are. And we fight and then we get that experience, you know. But generally he doesn't come to my house, mm. hang around and he, I don't too. And I think it's fine because then when I see him on the podcast, it's like there's so much I gotta tell you. And do him like, mm. ah, there's so much to talk about. So it brings that thing in together. You know what I mean? Um, and look at it like this, even on the radio, the people you do shows with aren't people you chill with. Yeah. They're not your friends. You don't yeah. chill with them. At the moment, Caesar is holding it down for Dineo. Dineo, yeah. I never used to chill with Dineo a lot, at all, actually, mm-hmm. unless it's a work thing. Like, yo, let's go grab a drink some, mm. you know, or Skanganeta gig. You okay. Know I mean? We're both booked. Yeah. Caesar, we don't hang around. Fresh, we didn't hang around. Mo Flavor, we didn't hang around. These are all people I've done radio shows with, you know, great, good radio shows with. So, and that's still okay, mm. you know? Mm. Um, the love is real, though. You can't fake the chemistry. You can't fake the love. Of course. Um, and the brotherhood as well. Like, mm. if there's something that he saw, or I can always reach out to Mac. He can always tell me. I can always tell him, like, yo, fam, boy, like, whenever something's going to happen, he's the, I'm the first one, you know, he's going to consult with. Because he trusts my opinion. So we're boys. But on the show, it may seem like we live in the same house, you know, and, mm. and talk shit the whole day. And then just light the cameras for two hours and continue. No, yeah. it's not like that. Okay. You know, yeah, he's got his own life. Got my own circle of friends, which is close to none. He has his own circle of friends. We cool. We're boys. The love is real. The respect is mutual. We're colleagues. We're friends as well. I consider him a friend. You yeah. know what I mean? If anything had to happen to him, I wanted, I'd wanted i be one of the first people to be there. You know? Yeah. Vice versa. So, yeah. But we're not like friend like that. Because we weren't friends before the podcast. Think mm, about it. Mm, mm. We're Facebook friends. And he reached out on Facebook. Said, yo, bro. I see you always post and some funny shit you post. Come through on the podcast. Let's hang out. Yeah. You know? So, we don't need to forge a friendship from that. Especially if we can work together so beautifully and we've grown closer together naturally. Yeah. But yeah. We, without we, forcing we, things. Without forcing things, you know. So, yeah. And, yeah, man, it's like that. Oh, we love to see it. Mm. We definitely love to and it's see it. Like, remember when I asked you about him, you and him, if you guys are smashing or you're like a couple and you're like, no, you're not. Because it's easy to make those assumptions. Like to say, I'm me and Mac are friends. When you get here, you're like, yo, Lava. So I was like, ah, maybe these ones, you know, but you're not. Yeah. And sometimes you just get together when you grow together mm. and there's a love. You know, it may not be a romantic one, but there is a respect and the love yeah. and, and a friendship formed from just working together, doing what you love and getting one another. Some question, who's being so teeny? Oh, shit, I'm so rich. I'm a problem to interview. You <laughs> are a problem. But you know what I like, man? Yeah. When I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell from what I. Yeah. It may be long-winded, but whatever question you'll ask me in the future, I can plug it in anywhere in the timeline. Yeah. So remember I said, now during that period, that's what came along, you know, so yeah. Okay. I want to bring it back to the music, Agnan. Mm. Um, I know you do piano now. Yeah. Why? <laughs> oh, they are on piano. Limnandi, guys. Okay. By the way, yeah. Yega. Yega. Yega featuring Murumba Pichi, Marseille, Bulo, Fab Music. 
it's out there guys uh go stream yega on youtube every platform essentially yega ah i suppose any bring the shots like okay great joe what does it to me I'll uh, have my shot. Let's fill the cup. Still, I'm still a couple of empty. I suppose bring the shots. So, what's the driver? My right, hurricane. But a hurricane is called a full PNP. Hurricane Mela full restaurant. Tengale, the Karachi, the hurricane. Walk, you know, the Waki hotel. For a band of a sua good. Colavanta was your Karanku was a luxury child. That would be great, wouldn't it? Yes. If course. hurricane like bought this garage. Yeah. And just built a, a, a hotel, and then people would travel far and wide, get drunk, sleep at the hotel opposite. <laughs> Hi, boo. No, sing it. Oh, sing it. 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 Sing Lapos you are or the restaurant is No, not the restaurant. You know this will be restaurant. It's Formula One. Okay. Fine. Formula One. Formula ba One lap. Babies one going. Oh, it was a cheap hotel. Cool. Ah. It's come quickly. Okay. As pools any bring the shots like it. Whoa, yeah, man. So white piano. To me, it was like <laughs> Firstly, I mean it's 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 our own sound. It's popping. Yeah. And I'm from a a a school of I used to make tribal house. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons I gravitated towards it was because it was our own sound. You know, when the likes of your black coffee sampled, you boost some songs, Huma Sikela. It's like wow, these guys are making this thing and bringing it home and sampling. So I've always been rooted to stuff that is homegrown, and that tribal has changed. It's still our sound, but it, it, it has now become our translation of EDM or techno, mm. electro, but with the African soulness mm -hmm. in it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that, what the guys have done. But to me, uh, I, I was like, this is new, it's fresh, and it's our sound, you know? Yeah. And I, I'd rather I, I try out, and also, the way it has evolved from where it started before, it allows you to be so musical, you know? And me, I love being musical. Like, when you hear mm. the stuff I'm going to drop, you know? I, I really love exploring music. When you hear guys like Kelvin Moore, Moore you know, you really go, you have a Gabba Canel. By the way, you the Fumana. When are you going to have Gabba Canel? I'm telling you I'm going to the Fumana. I'll tell him. I'm not, I'm not close like that with him, but I'll, I'll I mean, say... I mean, send a link, you know? You guys have met him. You've never met him? No. We are a spirit to cover canal. Bafo? Yeah, so when you hear cars like that, yeah. you know, Abu Kaba Canal, Kibla Spin, who works with Kaba Canal, so many other guys, man, who make really amazing music. Mick Man from Forslo. Yo, bro, guys, Kabza. Kabza's mm. amazing. Don't let the mm. hype of commercial Kabza as yes. an ear and a half. Yeah. And when he says he's the king of piano, you really, like, okay, I get it. Although you'll say, yo, but there's also them two that was yeah. also amazing. You know what I mean? Mm. But obviously, Kabza, I think we shall go with the work rate. Um, you know, but like there's so many so years and the music is beautiful. And I felt like it's a place where I can have room to express myself okay. still, you know? Mm. Um, so that's why, man, it, it, it sounds amazing. It's so matured. It's musical. And I love music, like legit. You know, when you come home, I won't even listen to piano half the time. And yeah. I'm listening to like music, like all sorts of music. Oh, cool. I put on Spotify, put something and listen. Whatever I feel like. Something. I put reggae, I'll put Yanni, I'll put Josh Groban, I'll put lo fi, chill hop. You know, and sometimes you don't even know the artist, but you fuck with this. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to put it again next time. Mm. Oh, I'm going to go to this, this mm. playlist. Pull chill hop and just play, smoke weed, do whatever, and just listen to music. Why was I new with them Because I should have. I should have, because I need trash as a spirit. I'm listening to you. I'm going to listen to you. I need trash as a spirit. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to listen to you. 
intango ukugile guys. Kona intango kula mapage shawela ngineto imvula. Kona intango kula kukrinto. And kona intango kula into. Now into is obviously best quality because the environment is controlled, mm -hmm. right? The light, mm -hmm. photosynthesis, everything is controlled. Therefore, you are able to manage the quality of the output. Now, when there's external factors <laughs> like rain, this wind, and smoke, smoke, a spray, <laughs> <to Tawaza. laughs> so the, the quality of the weed gets thing. And yeah. the more you need to control the environment, the more money it needs. Mm. So you need a warehouse or somewhere. You need lights. You need water. You need fertilizer to grow these things. Yeah. Right. The and the skilled people. All those. All these things are money. Hence, then, why in town you'll find, let's say, in the north, is a tour ama indoors. Cause more figure like spreading from the indoor cheese or whatever. My name is Lama, 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 Lama. Lama, Lama. Babu sang a male doza. I'll tell you now, you know? My name, um, and. Like, I'm a hybrids mm. that they've mixed up and stuff. You know what I mean? There's sativa, there's indica. I'm a? Strains. Strains, yes. There's, now, there's two main types of weed. Indica, sativa. There's so many strains within. And a lot of the strains, many, in fact, are, are hybrids. Where one is 30% indica, 30%, um, I mean, 70% sativa. And sativa, indica play a different role, have a different effect. Mm. So, to control all of that, it becomes expensive. So, mm. that's why... Cool, like a castle, just indicate mainly it's it's greenhouse, you know, mainly yeah. just it's greenhouses, whatever. Now, you know, but you know, it's then Twitter around the at least. So, 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 so what happened with me was obviously in terms of I and Yeah. Um, I contemplated going a car, staying there, but I was like, yo, was like one week I was like, your vuga, your ploma, your lal, vuga, your ploma, and then I was like, okay, your vuga, your kibela, your chosi, your It's expensive, mm. you know, and the minglana. People always be like, yeah, if I pens like, mm. if I the so and so and so, you know, guys. Yeah, Let's no. be real, guys. Yeah, no. One thing we gotta be real Yo. about is about. Guys, it can about, be toxic. Yeah, like, like hey, believe And sometimes you meet someone who you never used to speak to, Valley, because mm. I was like I was, but black born. Yeah, I want to school me, so was cool me. Like, who are you in and the first like, place? Being so cool, Santini. Yes, but now because so we level. Yeah, or you wanna go grab a beer. So that shit is not good for your mental health. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'm one person who still wants to walk around, have a breath, a breath of fresh air. Uh, yeah. So to me, I'm like, I see where it's going because like. I've seen it with people before. Yeah. Or but yeah, I'm You know, and the back life, guys. Like. But here for one hour, ha ha ha, I'm like, yeah, I'm so hour, you know? But here alive. So to me, I was like, where can I go that is still close to home, you know, home and close to a chosen or, or the economic mm. hub, place of hustle? Yeah. And I realized, because what happened was in my Iguin Guam, yeah, I had a girlfriend who. Because then my car got fucked. Long story. Mm. Then I had a girlfriend who would... I would knock off early. And then she would knock off much later every day. And she'd pick up a brother. And they would use a route that passes by Hillbro. So then I'd go and be like, yo, you're going to catch me by that route by Hillbro. So I'd catch a lift with her car. Mm. Yeah, well, and then, then I realized there's not a lot of South Africans here. You know, so when then... I hit rock bottom. To me, it was like, oh, I could go there. Not a lot of people know me. And literally, I went there and started Nobody from knew you. scratch. You and not a lot of people knew me. One little sort of big brother, maybe at a, a, a spa, turn my across. You know, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but a lot of people didn't. Now, when I became like big again, people were like, ah, 
But some people are like, no, this guy's always been. This, that's what he's meant to be. He's always, yeah. you know. So to me, that's the reason, like, how then I became accustomed to Hill, bro, and I left the guys. And I think had I stayed the guys, as much as I love you, Forslo, I always shout out to Forslo. But, and this is not just a phenomenon, it's a Forslo. Yeah. It's everywhere. Like, umuntu mage, uge waba la, abe la. Umuntu, oga gaz waba la. Or even la, or even la, or even la, will feel like a king on top of you and mm. bash you and do all these mm. things. Yeah, well, and to me, because even in Hillbrow, like I'd get there and they'd be like guys from Zim, right? Or, and they'd be like, you know, this guy in Zim used to be like a, a billionaire, a millionaire, but he picked a fight with Mugabe, for example, and shit <laughs> didn't go well for him. Now he's in Hillbrow. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, this guy, they're like, yeah. But I'm like, I've spoken to this guy before and I realized and it happened with someone. Yeah. A million, not a billion, a million. And I was like, I always realized this guy was just, you know? He doesn't belong here. Yeah. He's a bit different, you know? Yeah. And you go to those kind of people and to me, it's not like, yeah, when it's like, mm. you learn from them, you mm. know? Like, oh, mm. damn, bro. So, yo, and also even with me, I've met people like that who are like, yo, bro, so, yo, man, I remember I used to listen to you on YFM. Like, tell me, Give me tips on X. Mm, mm. So some people will take that moment to actually try and get whatever they can yeah, from you. Because yeah. no matter to we, you still have the knowledge. Because of remember, course. you it's like take fish, right? Let's say there's one fish special that can live on land, and it went out the water on land. Mm. Yeah, well, and then it comes back. Then there'll be fish that say, ah, when I, yeah, but I want to enjoy it. Then there'll be fish that'll be like, how did you do it? Yeah. You know, like, how did you survive? How did you, because we're not... How, Teachers. You, to get, exactly. Mm. So most of the people are going to be like, ah, when... But there's some people are going to be like, yo, bro, how did you, how did you, you know? Then there are those that will be like, oh, shit, this nigga managed to make it out there. We couldn't. He's back here, Okay. I won't ask him much about it, you know. Yeah. But but I'd like it to breaks know. my heart. Yeah. Yeah, and which happened? I was on an interview recently, and the guy was like, "Yo, bro," and I used to see him a lot, and I know his hustle. And only now I was like, "Yo, man, I saw you, little bro. I was so not happy because I I used to look up to you, but I was like, life happens." And so there are some of those people who are like, "Okay, life happens is fine," you know. But this guy saw places I've never seen, been mm. to places I've never been. Mm. So he managed to do something I'm still yet to do, you know, and then other people will rejoice in that failure. And you realize, but you're like, dog, but okay. You ask me what was my mark, but have you ever owned one or driven one or bought one? Or, you know, you ask me about this, have you, you know what I mean? The fact that we had to, and we die, if we die tonight, both of us, doesn't mean I've had life experiences, I've lived and seen things. Maybe you haven't. So it's also not a, 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 a thing that you can celebrate, mm. you know? Maybe try to learn something from it. You know what I mean? So I just left because of that situation that I was trying to avoid because yeah. I'd seen it with a lot of people. You know, in your hood, there's corner moon to Jogo, Wabana Potlu store, Ogo, Fuga, Wow. And now, what's in big? Yes, Wabana Nda, or Wabana Map. I like my truck, I to leave my life here, you know, a, mm. b- or a bus business. Yeah. Every hood has. And Jala yeah, they yeah, 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 you know. But there's so much, a guy carries knowledge because he's done shit that a lot of you in that room will never, never. maybe mm. do in your life. Yeah, or some will, but guess what? He knows the stuff, you know. Mm. He knows what brought him down. It may be women, it mm. may be gambling, it may be womanizing. Porn. It may be alcohol. porn, it may be alcohol, mm-hmm. it may be drugs, mm-hmm. it may be drugs, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he got this, so he's got the formula. Yeah. And there's so many soccer football stars, it's drugs, maybe they brought them, or alcohol. But guess what? Ask him, uh, what were you doing in training? Mm-hmm. How much were you training? Were you doing this? Were you doing that? And he will say, no, I did this and this. Mm-hmm. Don't ask him, how did he get back here? Yeah. Because then, you know, but he got somewhere... He's got the map to where you want to go, but you'd rather celebrate to where he's back at than try to shine the light on the map of where he went. So I, that's why I was like, ah, rather go no one knows me and I'll struggle and be cool. Rather, I already, Joe, 
hustling and building your life up is challenging. It is. Now, what more on top of that to deal with noise? Mm -hmm. Unnecessary mm -hmm. noise. Unnecessary so I was like, I grand. And also, it's just expensive, you know. Mm. You don't have a car. You're trying to travel back to mm. Joburg and back. And I tried it. It didn't work. It made sense for you. To me, it was like, ah, let me just rent there and see what How much me. wisdom from this guy, right? Right? Don't lie. Oh, my oh, gosh. Please. Oh, so wise. Last question. Yeah? Uh, with the DJs, I was like, who yeah. would you say is your... <coughs> Ultimate all time favorite, hmm. and I'm talking you, I'm um, piano, yeah, but your old school, your deep, you know, the people that you've known from Fantuk. You need to come out. Yo, it's gonna be a lot of fossil <laughs> guys, yeah. It's fine. Uh, Vava, it's, it's okay. Vava, okay. Shout out to DJ Vava, mm -hmm. like, incredible. Um, Sfiso, of course, Zidane, um, Fifi, DJ Fifi, fuck, Fifi doesn't get his flowers, man, you know. I don't she, even know who Fifi is, yeah, yeah, yeah. People from A Force, there was a Mars of Fifi, um, trying to think, man, someone was to spray the goat, he's amazing. <laughs> Hola <laughs> Koti! Is it a man of chance? Yes, Kiel. Yes, Kiel. Yes, Kiel. Yes, Kiel. Yeah, Koti yeah. Koti is a brilliant DJ. Um, and one memorable, like, one mention, man. He's not a DJ, but guy's been doing his shit, man. Moscow. Okay. For years, man. Moscow, Mlambo. Like, guy's been doing... Remember, he's the first guy I saw with a keyboard on... On his, his back. back, yeah. It was at, was it Questa's uh, thing? Eh, 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 eh. Hey, is this a Lando? Yep. Lando, but what's your Shumbelo? Shumbelo. Shumbelo. I Huntersfield. I Huntersfield. Which one? Before I Huntersfield. I Lando. I said Huntersfield. I said TH man. I said TH Hall. I'm Lando. I'm Lando. This is a corner. This is a corner. I'm Hey, I'm saying because there hasn't been a lot of Nah, it's so fine. It's Don't be much. diplomatic. If you know, we will, we will, uh, uh, someone must revive it. Yes. But I saw him land at yeah. Moscow. I remember years back. He was skinny even then. Skinny kid with a cap. Yeah, not this Moscow now. And I saw him on Instagram. I'm like, Moscow's still fucking around. And he's doing other stuff. And like, to me, like, on stage, like shout out to him, bro. Yeah. I know you said DJs would fuck. Yeah, it's okay. Moscow is Do you? fucking brilliant, man. Zandi, DJ Zandi. Uzandi. Ah, DJ Uzandi. 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 Yo. Zandi to you, but Zandi. Zandi, Zandi to is us. a beast, DJ man. Yo, yeah, Zandi, no. hip hop house. Zandi is a beast. You, you must. Know? He goes to. He understands there's, music. There's Zen in Sentin. Mm. So they do Y2K yeah. Fridays. Yeah. If a DJ plays Ingoma Young or 99 or after 2010, right? So it's between 2000 and 2010. So you must, the DJs need to play music from there. If it's before or after, you take a shot. That's the concept. Before? So do you need to play from 2000? To 2010. Ooh, That's the hip hop yeah. that you need to play Ooh. the whole night. I get come to me up as I let 99 Ooh. or 98, or you know, that's the test. Zandi, Zandi, that time Zandi was killing it. There was a time in the first there was Zandi to me, Zandi was like a mystique because when you talk to Lady Do's dad, like chalk to like, yeah. Zandi, Zandi, like, Zandi, then sing Zandi, what do you have? We're, we're England. Hey. Then you're like, oh, Zandi, what happened? Hey, when he hey. came back, I'm like, oh, then that's what I made up. Like, oh, this is Zandi. Like, yo, Zandi. Now he's playing hip hop. And I'm like, no, you guys said he plays house. But it's so good at hip hop. Like, yeah, like, oh, fuck. It's amazing. <laughs> so to me, those are the guys, man. And there's so many guys I'm, I'm, I'm not mentioning, you know. Yeah, but like, of course. top of my head, Zandi, Fava, uh, Cody, Blanco, Fifi, Blanco, fuck. Hey. You know who Blanco hey. is? Blanco. Do you know who Blanco hey. is? I've that, heard. That's my stage name. <laughs> oh, that's your stage name? Hey, I'm by scale. 
blanco, yo blanco, yo. And it sounds like that's, that's, that's it's, blanco. Uh, no. Are you blanco? That yeah. What when, I, when I play, because it's what do you play? Uh, deep. Old school Afro. Oh, nice. That, yeah, yeah but those are the guys, man, for me. Like the guys I mentioned, Vava, mm. Fifi, Sviso, Zidane. Um, there's a guy. No, no, no. Before, before I get to, 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 to the, the rest, mm. there's a guy, man. Not oh, four, 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 four is amazing as well. But there's a guy, I think he passed away. From Oh shit, let me call. Please WhatsApp. I got no WhatsApp who's That's what I was like. Oh, my friend and you know, I was like, you know what? I don't know if he's. Nah, I was never I don't ready. Know. I was like, but I heard that guy play, ne? Yeah. Fucking brilliant, man. <whistles> of course, Fiso now. I'll play Fiso now. Yo! That guy. Appendule. Yeah. 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 Yo, yo, sweet. already. We saw Shoni. I think was Sean or sweet. I knew what he was at a four or sweet. The Kubula Lama eyes were four. Hey, who's sweet? Was Sean, eh? Yeah, was Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to see. Yeah, yeah. Yo, sweet, guys. Fuck, yo, sweet. And I loved it. Like, I remember, like, I heard him play once. And I was still in my rapper face at a gig. I said, Kaslam, but I eat pesh. I want to say, I'm a pesh. Like, speakers out of nowhere, like, how did I get to the bong? I'm going to have a bong. It's a you know? Mm. And sweet old play it on you. And then I later met him at church. Or coming back from church. Yeah, but then I met, I later met him a couple of speakers. So, and I was playing, uh, producing like, my music. And he loved it. I'm like, damn. Mm. You know? So to get an approval from that guy, I was a guy, sweet old man. Yeah. There's a guy, I'm be a force lord around here, you'd know. If you know your stuff, sweet old. Yo. Yo. He was the one. Ah, sweet old, my feet. Rest in peace, man. Yeah, and, rest in uh, peace. Sweet sweet from, but yeah. yeah, there's a lot of, these guys will play on vinyl, man. Mm. These guys are like, yo, oh, bro. The craft, force lord, man. DJing. Force look at the home. Cut to but force it? look. Ah, full slow, man. Ah, the spread. That's a spread. Pele spread is better than Zinyo. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, fuck. I forgot to Zinyo. Ah, Hurricane, yo, Zinyo. Yo, Zinyo, man. I did a, I did a party, yes, man, and Zinyo played. Yeah. Shout out to Zinyo. I met Zinyo at Hurricane. I went to Hurricane, so I said, uh, yeah. Oh, Zinyo, guys. Shout out to Zinyo. Gubo Glab. Ngab. Gule side lead. Yeah, yeah. I see, close to a creed. I'm close. Yeah, I'm close next door to a creed. I remember. I know Cabo Zinho food because we we're trying to book him. We did actually. I was doing my, my birthday party. Nandi nice. Mm. In, uh, yeah, nice. Nandi nice. Eh? Yeah, Nandi nice. You? In 20 like 10 or something. Oh, and Zinho came through, and I was just like familiar with him from here. Zinho, look man, Katoras wow. is so many great Listen, DJs, bro. Like a lot of talent. Buffy to Zinho, still, still around Zinho. Still around. For real. Been time Ah man, I must give Zinho a shout out, man. Shout out to Zinho. Shout bro. out to Zinho. Yo, Zinho, ah, shout out to Zinho, man. <laughs> okay, why <laughs> Oh, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm interview you. I'm playing. I'm playing. smiles. I see. No smile. Nah, I see this man. Yeah, it's fine. This is charcoal toothpaste. Ah, my toothpaste, some yum. No, 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 man, I can't. I'm just like look, no, 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 man, because I'm amazing. I'm one of those lucky people, like literally. Good for you. Maybe three days, no, because I'm yeah, so we are no, I'm not no, no, but I'm not no. Yeah, last day, like I did, like TikTok. Yeah, but literally, no, I did TikTok. Hey, but for the next one, I was a TikTok, I was a TikTok. 
Yeah. So next, gonna whoop. I'm out there chilling with piano, and then it's pool, man. No, no, no. I've, I've got a, a I, no. I, I've got a fetish for funny stuff, like disgusting, like EOX removals and stuff. So, but anyway, thank you, Saul. EOX removal. I must actually get mine. I, I get a build up of it. I get it removed once a year. Otherwise, it'll block. Can I do it for you? How do you with a syringe? Yeah. With high. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I get a shot thing that you imagine now I can't remember anything. Is it ah yeah. so remember. Nah, now I'm like stick at thinking. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> the podcast drunk. <laughs> hey, right? listen. The best, right? Oh bro. Yeah. Can join it, bro. But yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So cool, manam. Oh, so cool man. Oh, so cool man. Oh, I thought you said so cool. Oh, I think you were gonna suit. Okay, I want to think you whole clearly. Eh, also we send a lemon. Eh, eh, what about Kala Kanna Kapo? What about Kala Kala Shil Shil? Ah, Impa Muna Ki Celeb. O Kala Ka E I Bona. O Kala Ko Pili Ka E I Bona. Impa Ki Celeb O Wa Di Misan. Ki Ma Hu Tsen Sol Su Su Chu Like Stop. You ever it was stop. Oh ha. <laughs> this is ADN Lifestyle with Sanat and we're out. <laughs> we are four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, right? Thank oh, you. It is so nice. Thank you.